Hello, thank you for joining us today as we walk through the reprogramming of the channels on your Kenwood Pro Talk Business Radio. My name is Grady Teske, and I'm the sales manager for Comquip, Kenwood's master Pro Talk distributor on the West Coast. Today's walkthrough will cover the unit TK3230, our one and a half watt six channel UHF radio. First of all, thank you for purchasing and supporting the Kenwood brand. We appreciate your support. These out-of-the-box pre-programmed power tools are set with 64 frequencies and 39 quiet tones as well as 83 digital quiet tones on the units themselves. This ensures that your conversations are both private and can match you to an existing radio network without the umbilical cord of a dealer or the accessories and software required to reprogram your radios. If you're programming to a specific channel setup, first locate the frequency table number and any QT or DQT privacy license in the owner's manual. You may be following along through your owner manual or utilizing the Kenwood authorized walkthrough while I take you step by step through the process. The first thing you're going to need is a powered off and charged radio. Take your TK3230 and locate the menu button. By depressing and holding the menu button, turn on your radio. It should beep once and then list the first channel as well as the frequency it's set to. You can then release the menu button. Now you can utilize the up and down keys to toggle through the settings and the frequencies on your radio. Locate the menu button in the upper left and depress while turning on. This takes you into programming mode. The display should flash the channel number one and frequency table to the right. Use the up and down buttons to toggle between the channels and the settings you wish to chain. The menu button selects the channel. After a channel selected, you can toggle through the frequency table by pushing up and down again. When you reach your selection, hit menu to enter the setting in. You can then change the other channels or settings on your radio, and once complete, to press the push to talk button to lock in the new settings. Today, we're going to change channel 1. So we'll toggle up to the channel 1. Then hit the menu button again to get into the frequency setting. We're going to change our frequency to channel 467.7625. If you look in your manual, this is table 3. So now that we've hit menu, the, the t frequency number should be flashing. Toggle down to table 3. Then hit menu button again and it will lock that frequency in. You can then go through and change any of the settings that you'd like to change on your radio as well as all the other frequencies and channels as well. Once you're completed, simply hit push to talk and it'll take you back to user mode where your radio should be twice and your screen should display a 1-01. This lets you know you're back in the user's mode. Now we've shown you how to change and program your radio without any of the umbilical accessories, software, or a connection to a wireless dealer. If at any time you make a mistake in programming your unit, you can reset the unit back to factory settings by depressing the up button, down button, and monitor button while turning the unit on. Thank you again for your support of the Kenwood line. We truly appreciate your business. If you have any questions on this, or other uh, issues, contact your local dealer or Comquip at 877-533-5331. Thank you very much and have a great day.